Hello everyone, my name is Zama, and welcome to my first look review on Swordbreaker Back to the Castle. So, um, yeah, this is my first look review. Uh, basically what that is, is I play uh, half an hour to an hour of the game, uh, and see what it's like, uh, review it, and say what's probably gonna come after, uh, after that first hour, because the first hour is the most important part of a game. Plus the last hour, but we're not there yet. So, the Steam summary is an action adventure uh, in a medieval fantasy universe. Uh, learn all about the adventures of Mighty Swordbreaker before his appearance in the castle. Uh, destroy enemies with a sword, magic, and un a unique device. Uh, the Swordbreaker from which the hero got his alias. Oh, so the unique device, the Swordbreaker. Right, okay. Uh, so the release date was 21st of February 2020. Developer is, I'm going to pronounce it as a Ducats. Not the Ducats. Um, game Studio. Uh, and it's $11.50 Australian um, on Steam. So if you're interested in what you see here, link is in the description below. Um, and yeah, so let's... Well, new game because I haven't started it. This is a story about a former soldier. He is only known by the name of Swordbreaker. An old man points him towards a mysterious castle. He seeks to claim the treasures that are within. What awaits him on his long journey is hidden in the future. The castle is yet far away, and inside, danger surely awaits him. Will he be strong enough to complete his journey? Are the treasures even real? Or is it just a beautiful tale that he'd like to believe? Thus commences Swordmaker's journey. How and where it ends, only time. Especially one of them. Our valiant hero Swordbreaker put the map in his pocket and took his bearings. The road was right in front of him, but the castle was nowhere in sight. He still had a long way to go. According to the map, this path leads straight to the castle. I wonder why it's so quiet. Okay, well, let's first looks. Um... I like the graphic. What the fuck is on your hand? Is it like a melee or thing? Okay then, uh, but the graphics I really like. I, I really like the nature here. The water, the rocks, the person that I am. It's pretty nice. It's really nice. Yeah, this, this is really nice. Okay, so how do I... Well, that's just that's just telling me how to move. Is there anything else that I can... Oh, that is that. <laughs> Whack. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my, what the? Okay, that, um, it's, oh, oh god, there's a bat. Oh, okay. She came in, uh, with the sword breaker, you can grab enemies, weapons, and perform a counterattack, thus regain your health. Note that you can perform a counter-attack only when the Swordbreaker icon appears above the enemy. You can also perform mutual attacks with right mouse button. So that's a Swordbreaker. Interesting. That That's really interesting. That enemy though, he just literally flung me across the map. Or at least 10-20 meters. That was really weird. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of- Oh my god, what the f- Where- 
The bats literally just come out of nowhere. I think I read something about they're actually hiding in the trees and then they just drop down, but I mean, fuck. <laughs> uh, what's the F and G, G thing? Below. Uh, potion slot. Okay, so I've got nothing. I feel like I'm gonna die. Oh, bugger. Okay. I need to dodge. Oh. really quickly. Can I regain health from you? No, you don't have any weapons. I think that's how it works anyway. Jesus Christ, like... Fuck, where do I get health from? Like, is there even a dodge mechanic? Uh, to evade the enemy's attacks, or quickly change your position, left alt? Fuck off. Okay, this is gonna be... I mean... This is a hardcore game or not? Jesus Christ. Adventurer. Amateur. Lord. He's on that before, but it goes... Can I go amateur? About three bucks. Okay, so they do literally just drop out of the sky. Okay, is that a... No, I think that's a rock all the way over there. Oh, fuck off. This is, this is the worst enemy. I, he's gonna fling me across the map. I barely did damage to him. I am gonna die. I'm not even sure how I'm meant to do damage to him. Do I need to roll early and then... No. What was that move? Wow, nice animation. That was sincere. Oh, okay. Oh, that is good. That is that is a good one. Oh, okay. I can apparently jump really high. I'm tired. Oh well. Well, screw you. Okay, you've got a ball coming after you. You know what? I could have just attacked it because, yeah. Um. Right, so there are literally bats just in the fucking trees. Jesus Christ. I want health. Where do I? Where do I even go about getting that? It said you can regain health from uh, using the sword breaker, but I need enemies with weapons to be able to do that. Oh, fuck it. This is gonna be a brutal game, and I'm probably not gonna like it, because brutal games need to be made well, and this isn't. Okay, uh, uh load. I like the idea where they're literally just, there's just skeletons over here. Hey guys. Stormbreaker? Oh, oh. And I just gained 10 health. There we go. Okay, so that's how you gain health, but it's not much. Plus, it's literally only things with swords. So, every, so one percent of the ant like the beings in this game so far gives you health if you time it correctly. Oh, I think it's doing. I... okay, did I just run, run over that? I was just sitting there? Okay. Oh, that, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Alright, I wanna see if, uh, how far I can really just get into this game. Oh, I'll see how far I am by the time I get to, um, half an hour.
because I like the look of the game. And I'm not really sure on the story, but the the actual gameplay itself, the fighting, sucks. You just need... It's a thing with harder games, so I'm gonna say instantly this is a hardcore game. I don't think it actually says it in the summary, but considering how many reviews I've read on this game, um, it's a hardcore game, because most people quit the game and just gave up on it. Um, I don't even know where the fucking objective is. Somewhere over here, apparently. Um, can I even? I can't even go over here. Do I? Is that a bridge over there? I think it is. I like the idea of the sword breaker. That is really cool. I I love it. I love that thing. But. Yeah, like, you've got the idea of, to gain health, you either get, uh, my head's itchy. You either get, um, health potions, which, I mean, I found one by accident. Oh, fuck off! You little shit! Well, oh, okay. So what's the jumping mechanic like? I need to... No, I need to time it right. I fucking hate this guy. You're tired. Oh, poor you. Alright, it must be in a critical hit or something. You're tired. There's a second skeleton, dude. So you need to do it before it comes and then slice across. So that's the way to kill this thing. Oh, okay. Hi there. Well, I, I found a way to kill the bastard. Okay, so I want to slash, slash, slash. Ah, uh, fuck, I pressed the wrong button. Hey guys! Hello, oh, Al. You cannot win. Well, they can, they've done it twice already, so. Just a skeleton over there. What's in my inventory? Nothing of interest? Yeah, I thought so. Hey. We- Oh my god, okay. Platforming game, that sucks. Great. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Is he close by? He's just walking around, but somehow I can hear him really clearly. Oh, I think I'm going the right way. I- I really don't. Is it literally like that? Um, I need to get past those mountains. I found a village. That's not not nice people who live here. Apparently, there's a cellar I can enter. <laughs> it's not creepy at all. Tab is to view, so follow the road towards the castle. Found location 6, secret locations. F there are 143 enemies, okay. Um, time and game, right. So is this just. Oh, yes, this is actually literally just a level and I need to find the castle. Is that. Is that literally what this is? You're a cool guy, right? E? Hey. Hey there! Who are you? I'm not from around here. I need to go to the castle. 
Could you point me in the right direction? Yeah. Keep going that way and you'll find the castle. You have to go past the Forsaken Village and the graveyard, and then the castle won't be too far off. Got it. Thank you, sir. Hold on there, son. Could you give me a hand? <laughs> uh, yes, sure. sir. What can I do for you? I've got a cellar in the old cage. I keep some wine and other stock down there. And now some rats moved in. I don't think you I want to have any in Please in stop them for me. If you kill them, I'll pay you. I'm not rich, but I'll make it worth your while. So that's an objective, I guess. I don't know. Um, well, the, the bats as an enemy, they're interesting, I reckon. Uh, they just drop down and attack you. Um, I, it's an interesting idea of an enemy. Uh, skeletons just moving around, boring. You can kind of gain some health from them. Boars are a pain in the ass and I hate them. Especially the first time I got hit by one. Like, holy shit, I got flung so far away. Oh god, okay, so this is a ravine. This is this is great. If I fall, I'm dead. Is that a rat? Holy shit, how big is it? I don't want to even go near it. Oh my god! They aren't rats! They're like badgers or something! If I go over here, I should be able to avoid the bloody... the bubble. It's good that the music pops up, because that tells me that this enemies... the enemies know where I am. Yeah, it's nice music as well. Okay, not that bad. Okay. What is this sorcery? What do you mean what sorcery? What the giant rats? I'm stuck. Okay. Why is this fish? <laughs> The en entrance to the old village is closed. Robert was supposed to bring the building's material on a cart, but he's still not here yet. Probably something happened to him, and he's late. His cart is quite old. I don't have time to wait. I'm going back to the village. If anything, uh, Robert has the key. Okay, I'm going to stop it there because I'm, I'm not having fun with this game. Um, I, I, I wasn't having fun 10 minutes into it, um, and I decided to, um, code gameplay, um, that, well, the ball was, They're a pain in the ass. Um, I love the look of the game, but it's just, it's just not grabbing me. And just like the the first ten minutes was just horrible. Just the all the um the tutorial stuff is down the bottom corner, which you don't really re realize it's there. Uh, it needs to be more prominent on the screen somewhere. Especially for a person like me who has a mic here that I can't properly see the bottom few centimeters of the uh, the screen. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's just a weird game. Um, I do like I do like the Stormbreaker thing though. That 
it, I reckon that's a good part of the game. Set the difficulty lower. I did. <laughs> um, that's why I've I've got pretty good health. Uh, everything's easy to beat. It's just the boars. They're just a pain in the ass. It's just the boars that are just. Hmm. But yeah, that that start part is horrible. It is. I, I reckon that's a horrible intro to a game because if you go into a blind, you've got a boar that comes through. Basically, the first time, first thing that happened to me, boar came up behind me and slammed me in the ass. I flew 20 meters, like literally 20 meters. That was the furthest I've ever flown in this game from a boar. Um, and then there was like two bats that just popped out. Of, it seemed like they popped out of nowhere. Um, I understood later they actually sitting in trees. Um, and then there was a bunch of skeletons, which, they, they were easy, but there was the archer, but like, when everything's combined, it's like, a, it's a nightmare. Especially the boars. Um. But yeah, I just can't be bothered with this game. Uh, but I've made a video, that's what the devs probably want. Um, but I'll, I'll do, I'll do a little review. Uh, for what I've played, uh, that little part there was a partial review of the start of the game. I do love the look of the game. The the game looks really nice. Um, I do love the idea of the Stormbreaker. Uh, it's a bit odd, and without actually being able to find any health right at the start, that being the only way to get health is a bit harsh. Um, I don't know if it was a bug or not, but that well it hasn't changed this time but it didn't change before when I changed it I'm pretty sure that's the bottom one considering that's in the middle I'm guessing that's that's the bottom but yeah uh, story wise I don't I don't really know what to talk about there to be honest nothing's popped up really uh, I'm looking for a castle and that's really all I've gotten out of it but yeah, it's a game, and uh, for the people who are watching this later on YouTube, um, if you enjoyed, uh, do uh, check it out. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's a link down below. Um, go and check it out if you're interested in it. It's a bit what uh, what once you've seen this video, um, you'll definitely know how to not have a shitty start to the game. Um, and yeah, learn some things like I've learned from this person before this is a small prequel to the text game. Pitifully, this is a small prequel to the text game. Okay. Is this small? <laughs> it seemed like, like, considering this is level 1, it seemed like there was a lot more to this game. Uh, yeah, again, considering this was a level 1. Hey, Nikki! <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, this is level one. <laughs> and you've got all of this stuff, 143 enemies. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's my partial review on it. Um, yeah. If I didn't have a shitty start and it wasn't really late in the day, I would probably keep playing this. But otherwise, uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, <coughs> can, can you not? I'm trying to do an outro here. <laughs> um, yeah, if, if you enjoyed, um, hit the like button. If you're new, subscribe, because that'd be awesome. And, yeah, definitely go check out the game out if you enjoyed what you saw or anything like that. So, I'll see you all in another one. Bye-bye.